What on earth are these cows doing on the beach? I'm not gonna lie, I'm shitting myself slightly. If I roll down here, it's tickets, bro. Hose. And I'm barefoot and it's muddy. This is a completely unexpected adventure. Hey, I'm Tara. How is it, babe? Yes, I'm Tim Hoser. Yes, I'm so happy yeah. to see you. You wouldn't know. Okay. I'm just walking, walking. I say, yeah, next place. I say, yeah. where's the beer? I say, next place. Okay. I say, where's the beer? I say, ah, next place. Be free. Last time, for the last vlog, about Port St. John's, we went that side. And today we're going that side. Let's start walking. So for a start for this vlog, I'm just going to have a bit of a conversation. I waited for today to do this vlog because I wanted a bit of sun. It's the rainy season, it's been raining a lot. And I decided to wait till the weather. Man said there's going to be a bit of sun. What are we doing today? Um, I'm doing a, this is the second vlog in a series about Transkei, Eastern Cape. Now it's called Eastern Cape, but everybody still knows this area as Transkei. And today we're just doing a town I heard about, it's about six kilometers away. I'm going to walk there, most of the way, maybe I get a lift, I don't know. Okay, so thanks to Super Duper Soccer Boy that gave me this wonderful comment about uh, one of my vlogs and my vlogs and my channel uh, The one about the Tankwa Karua Go check it out. I'll see if I can put a link of it in there and uh, thank you It always means a lot to me When people appreciate what I do. I put so many hours in this and uh, for many years now uh, Just because I love doing this, you know, and if people give me commentary and say they like it and they enjoy it it motivates me to get up again and do it more. Island Garden features 4846. They also love the vlog about Transkei, the first one. And I mentioned uh, about uh, this game reserve, Mkambati game reserve. Just check this out, man, where I'm walking. It's so cool. That's where I'm walking, it's beautiful. So it's not that far from me in the Umkambati Game Reserve. You said you might want to, or you would like to check it out in the vlog. The problem is I'm taking local transport. I mean, I have basically no budget. I'm doing this on an absolute survival budget. And so I need to stay over there. I don't have the funds for that. So I can get there probably with minibus taxis, but uh, it's going to take a while to do the vlog. So. I sent them an email and said, hey guys, well, I want to come and do a vlog, there's a request from a viewer, uh, maybe, oh no, I just took a chance to say, there'll be some, maybe a, a bit of promo for you, give me a bed, and I'll come and vlog about your place, but uh, at this point, I don't know, maybe, we'll see. But if you want to support me, for the, if you like what I do and you like this, the effort I put in, just check the link below, you can support me there and uh, if I get a bit of funding at some point or I create revenue with this vlog at some point then uh, obviously I will be more free to do better vlogs, more places and entertain you and show you the world and then the other thing I want to talk about is just a general thing about the area I want to say the people so far have been amazing friendly, I've got lots of hitchhiking most of the way I met so many cool people nice social life um, I had one or two negative inc incidences but that's a minority but one of those are the taxi drivers most of the tra taxi drivers are cool but uh, there is a bit of a gangster element here and it's the same in Cape Town and I think in the same in South Africa the rest of South Africa there are a minority of taxi drivers that behave like gangsters that coerce people and somebody picked me up I each like a local and she told me 
the taxi drivers don't like it if people walk in the road so they will pick them up and go drop them off in the middle of nowhere so they're basically stuck in the middle of nowhere to teach them a lesson that they should use the taxis and not walk to town which I think is terrible, awful, pathetic and just bad um, and I've also been extorted by two guys in the taxi that wanted to uh, um, get an exorbitant rate from me but they refused to pay it and another beautiful view, check this out so I thought this was worth a little bit of a rant and hopefully some local authorities see this and just clamp down on that stuff I mean the gangster element in the taxi industry I use a lot of minibus taxis so in my vlogs as well so I it's important for me to talk about this that the little percentage of the gangster element must be worked out they don't need they, don't, they shouldn't run normal businesses they shouldn't consider themselves part of a another vehicle coming they shouldn't consider themselves normal business people because they operate and they treat people like gangsters i mean if you take somebody when you're taxing you drop them off in the middle of nowhere that is a serious crime you're taking somebody against their will that is kidnapping all because they don't want to pay you 17 rand for your taxi ride they prefer of their own free will to walk to town so if anybody sees this and they I don't know make a fucking plan man this shouldn't happen the other thing I want to talk about is my exercise routines which I decided to put in a vlog because I think it's important and I felt I let myself go I'm looking terrible so I've got this body transformation thing I'll put in in the next few vlogs just for funsies but I think the exercise thing will be a regular part of my vlogs because I think it's important to stay healthy no matter how old you are and two reasons the one is it motivates me to exercise because now I have to show to you that I actually do it how's it and the other thing is maybe a few of you out there would be motivated as well to say, hey man, if this old man can exercise and keep healthy, I can do it too. So today, because I'm vlogging today, and that's the thing about traveling, it's difficult to exercise, right? Because you are traveling all the time. I decided I'm going to put myself a goal of doing 250 push-ups through the day while I vlog. So that's my goal for the day. To see that I can maintain my fitness even when I'm working and vlogging. Let's go to the place called Poonskop. Poonskop is actually very African sounding, so let's go check it out. It would turn out that there is much confusion about where and what Poonskop truly is. Are approaching a place called Ferry Point. It's close to the river mouth next to the sea. So let's check it out. There's like a cafe thing here. Obviously, fishing is a popular thing to do here. So I'm assuming they'll have all kinds of fishing tackle and stuff. After that, I have to climb this hill, and I don't know how long after that I will arrive at Punskop. Let's check it out. Hello. Do you mind if I take video? 
देखा है to do some incline push-ups use the terrain why not now I'm gonna have to walk this hill which is more exercise Well, I'm definitely getting my exercise in today. My biggest problem is not the exercise. It's the discipline when it comes to eating and drinking. That's a problem. I love oily chips and greasy food. And I love wine and beer. Anyway, something I have to mention. In my first vlog, the one about Port St. John's, I talked about the bad service delivery. The South End Tower that was down. The long electricity cuts, both local and national. And I have to say, it seems that I just arrived at a really, really bad time. Bad timing, that's all. Because since those things were fixed, we've had very little power outages. The South End Tower is working, the internet is working. And it's all good. So I think my timing was just really bad. Thank you to the guys that fixed the problem and it makes my life so much easier and all these people around his lives as well. Right, because this place I'm walking to, two ladies came there just to charge their cell phones. They walked all the way six kilometers to my place and asked if they could charge their cell phones. And I said, now the power's off here as well. Sorry, man. So, you know, that's things are problems for the people that live in rural areas. Anyway, so it goes, eh? Beautiful day. Once again, just lush, the subtropical, right next to the ocean, the wild coast, man, what a place. might be the start of town but it's not what I expected at all it's a lot of really fancy houses it looks like a holiday resort in any part of South Africa I'm gonna be honest I'm disappointed I hope this is not it I hope this is just in front of the real town because I'm not looking for the Western world in Africa I'm looking for Africa I'm not into modernization and fancy places. What I like is the simplicity of the African lifestyle. And uh, rural Africa is where I feel comfortable. Millions been poured into this little place. Lonely houses and uh, very wasted. Not my thing at all, actually. But interesting. <laughs> the pro 
problem of wealth in areas like these. Wealth comes of power and control. That's how you get wealth. And you, if you have that mindset, then you want to control your environment and you become apart from your environment. So, I mean, this is beautiful places and buildings, but it's not, it doesn't fit. It just looks odd. And I have a feeling that the people that live here, maybe, I, I can't generalize, but it's like a, an avoidance of the place itself. You know, you travel through Africa and people go stay in lodges, but the whole lodges, all the lodges are surrounded by big walls. I don't really get that. For me, it's all about immersing yourself in the nature and in the culture and down on grassroots level. That is the fun, that is the beauty, that is the adventure. Building a fancy house and setting yourself apart from your environment for me, I don't know, I just think it's a wank. Hey, but that's just me, man. So I was just, I just met these people, yeah, and I asked him, is this Punskop? And I said, no, this is not Punskop, Punskop is still a bit odd. And I said, I'm so relieved because I wasn't expecting the Lani stuff. And she's from the Lani side, so she lives on the Lani side. I just said, people, I like the real normal African vibe and the Lani side, it looks like a suburb. It doesn't really fit in here. So what's the story here? Yeah, it's just like, just like people just developed the suburb and just really modern. So that means it's new. Okay. So I believe the first house of those are all the houses If you go up there on Terra there are some abandoned places. I saw that, yeah. Are you are you owner? I am family. Lucky, lucky you man. Yes, my name is Van I am lucky me. Chris. It means lucky actually. It does. Uh, you see, it's got a connection here. Anyway, enjoy your day, man. You too, nice to meet you. All right. Enjoy your walk. Uh, please introduce yourself and tell me about your beautiful little shop here. Oh yeah, my name is Gert Nukia. Actually everyone here call me around Rush G. So uh, I'm always airy, smoked up. And yeah, I've got a small little shop here selling dry firewood. And I'm living down here. That's life. How long have you been here? Oh, I came here the first time in 1984. So, and how does this compare to your previous life? This is excellent better. <laughs> I've got peace here for my mind, living close to job. I mean, what else do I need? Pleased to I meet mean, you, man. I'll see you around. Sure, brother. <laughs> my job less. <laughs> that was a cool little encounter. A guy that came here for, to retire. I could see that happening to me easily. Taking life easy. But he told me, a better way to go is on the beach. I hope the sound is good because it's a bit windy here. So he said take a walk down the beach and it's shorter and it's more beautiful. So I'm going to take his advice and walk the rest of the way on the beach. Let's go. The sand is so hot, I'm going to have to run to the water, my feet are burning. I don't expect that. This of course is the east coast so the water should be warmer than Cape Town. 
But you know what I'd love to do is walk down the beach to see how far I get. Um, I've heard people doing this before. There's certain places there are reserves so you can't walk without a permit, but I think you can walk pretty far up here. Reach other towns. Maybe sleep on a beach and I do. If you like to see that, comment below. If enough people want to see it, I'll do it. It's easy to see why this area of South Africa is referred to as the Wild Coast. It's truly breathtakingly beautiful and wild. that this large hill in front that is Punskop and it's actually much farther than I thought it would be and a bit harder of a walk than I thought it would be but uh, yeah we're here now we're gonna climb that hill What on earth are these cows doing on the beach? Sun tanning. I mean, there's nothing to eat here. And I seem to love hanging out on the beach. Interesting. going to be one hell of a climb I'm telling you that I didn't expect this at all I hope they have beer up there Shitting myself slightly. If I roll down here, it's thick as bro. Oats. I'm barefoot and it's muddy. I tell you one thing, this is way out of my comfort zone. There's not even a path here anymore. But the main road is up here at the top, so I'm going to connect with that again. Some people are carrying wood up here, can you believe it? On their heads, big piles of wood. Crazy. This is a completely unexpected adventure. And uh, well worth it, check out this view.
Tahan. Tahan. So I struggled up here all the way up the hill here. Thought I was going to reach Poonskop and I reached the village, but this is not Poonskop. What is your name, sir? Nana. Nana, tell me what you just told me. So Poonskop is way there in the distance. Yeah, about 5 k's from here. Still another 5 k's, so yeah. I bit off a lot today. But luckily, this taxi is going back around 1 o'clock, so yeah, I'm going to be safe. Yeah, you're going to be safe. How and long have you lived here all your life? Yo, about 24 years now. Okay. 24 years. It's a long time. <laughs> I was born here. Cool, man. I was born here in 1999. Yeah, and it's nice here, eh? Yeah, it's nice. No crime, nothing. Uh, you see, you so, walk, can, can I walk here from the village to village and then just stay One here? way. One way. No, no one can, No one can step you here. What is the next uh, big town? Lupogo. Lupogo. And then? Lupogo, Tafufu. Yeah. Tafufu, Mboki. Yeah. You see all the world coast. All the world coast, you can just come and walk here. Yeah. That'll make an interesting vlog. Thanks, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As you will see during this vlog, Punskop seems to refer to more than just one place, and different people have different answers to where the actual Punskop really is, if such a specific location exists at all. Poonskop seems to be a different place to different people. So I said I was going to go to Poonskop today. So I'll just have to do it and continue bite the bullet. Hopefully get a taxi back. Right. Hello. Hi. So my impressions of this area is just a couple of kilometers away from Port St. John's, but again, completely different world. It's uh, so peaceful, so quiet, and so country-like. It's just children looking after animals. Uh, look at these green fields, man. It's so like, you know, wow. It makes me think of Heidi in the mountains, but without the snow. It's just like, so laid back, so relaxed. Um, it's this comfortable, warm feeling, kind of. Rural, as you can get. People are peaceful, walking around, looking after animals. Uh, friendly, very friendly. And the houses are neat, painted neat, it looks neat. It's so different from many other pictures you get of uh, rural type of townships with dirty and the shacks and rubbish lying around here yeah, it's completely neat pristine the houses are well kept uh, the people look peaceful and happy and content this is really really a cool experience there is a goat with a stick around his neck why? Maybe that's one of the naughty guts. One that escapes, so they put a stick around his neck. Naughty. Must be a mother. Always your mother. Don't be What was that? There's babies. I'm just taking a break of these guys here at the back and they oh, I think they're building a hut or something. A house for somebody. That's what you do. So they said they don't mind the camera, just chilling. Green, green grass. Yeah. Nice and relaxed. <laughs> yeah. You wanna say something? 
Hi. Nothing to see here, just a tiny little goat taking a nap next to the road, minding its own business. Beautiful. Unexpectedly, the people that own Amapuno backpackers, they just drove up behind me and I said, hey man, I'm wasted, can you give me a lift? And I got a lift, so apparently they're going to show me a cave as well now, so that's cool. Up here in this place after a bit of a rough ride. Quite beautiful, and apparently, if you walk down that beach, we're gonna get to some caves. So, unexpected tip for the journey. I think we drove past the official Punskop, right? Yeah. The official Punskop, so this is like a bit further on. Okay, let's go do some more walking. We get to the caves. All for you. I think the tide has to be right before you can cross here. There's obviously a river inlet there and probably low tide and you can cross here and go to the secret beach and secret cave space. If you twist your ankle here or something bad happens, it's not going to be a nice day. It's not like there's a hospital around the corner. <laughs> so, what is the decision? <laughs> we have one swimmer. Okay, we're gonna cross here, let's do this. Is it? Oh. Right. 
the water is that's it, then yeah. What what river is this, you know? Some some river. Some of the many, many rivers. <laughs> oh, it wasn't so bad. So the day turned out into a real adventure. A totally unexpected one. This is a good day, man. Poonsko Beach lies to the north of Port St. John's and is one of the most isolated beaches on the wild coast. Now that's a happy dog. That he says to walk down here from night to two and sleep on a beach shouldn't be a problem. So I think, imagine the stars above your head at night and the sounds of the sea and you're sleeping here for a day or two I mean that could be a real adventure so I think that that's a vlog I should be good, doing at some point soon so let me know what you think should I just hike up the beach for a day or two maybe three sleep under the stars uh, yeah I'd like to see that let me know So that's 250 more to go than I did my 250 for the day. And the water down here is so much warmer than it is. Beautiful. sense of innocence here uh, and just right here being relaxed with the self and nature something I've lost definitely and this is really something that's really rejuvenating for me just just today just being just remembering nature again you know? And how simple life can be and how beautiful life can be. It's something I kind of lost and uh, hopefully my aura will get a little bit more after some more time here. Me not doing any research, just going to places. Apparently Poonskop is not a village, it's this place. Around here, this is Poonskop, like a fishing spot. There's right up here. So I walked for 
I'm sunburned. I feel a bit dehydrated that they gave me some water. And we were at Poonskop, but my whole mission was to see a village. A more traditional rural village as well. And apparently the closest real village here is uh, down this road. Let me just show you. Poonskop was there towards the coast. Apparently if you go down this road you go through the village. And because I'm so keen to do good vlogs and show you guys cool stuff, I'm going to just keep on going and go and see the village and uh, give you a good vlog. And I'll walk back because I think the, the only taxi probably already left. But maybe we'll get another minibus taxi. Otherwise, it's fine. It's still early in the day. I'll just have a good sleep tonight. And please, please, like and subscribe. Uh, yeah, hit that button. It motivates me and it helps my algorithm. And man, I love doing this and uh, I want to show you more stuff. So, yeah, do it, man. It's so peaceful here. So let's go check out the village. And I think the mission will be to get a beer. Let's see if we can get a beer. Look at the maize. Maize fields. So apparently they call these little villages everywhere lullies. So that is the slang, uh, I'm assuming, or the informal name. And uh, I see this electricity everywhere these days, so I quite saw it. Hi. How are you? Good on you. Hi. Cape Town. Are you guys waiting for a taxi? I want to go to the village of Fawcett. Why are you going to put you on YouTube? <laughs> okay, according to those goals, this is the village. Hello guys, is this the village? Is this the village? Is this the village? Yeah. What's the name of this village? Can't say that. There we go. I'm gonna check it out. Where can I have a beer? Yeah. I'll get it. Cool guys, thanks. Eh? So this is what qualifies as a village. The mountains are the wild coast and they say, yeah, I'll get a beer here somewhere. That will be the Mission. Fuck man, I'm doing exercise today, I'm telling you. How's it guys? I'm taking a video. I'm looking for a beer. Where can I get the beer? On the top, yeah. Oh, the top, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks. How's it guys? Picture. What do you want to say? Picture, one picture. You're there, this is a picture, this is yeah. a picture. Cool guys. <laughs> The end is never in sight. It's always just a little bit more. Just up that hill and then there's just another hill. It's not far, it's not far, it's always close. But it's always far. So we're going to climb another mother effer of a hill and then hopefully I'll get to the place of the beer.
So if you think vlogging is an easy job, no it's not. Not mine anyway. So I'm on top of another hill. Kind of hoping the beer, the beer place is close. Oh, I see beer containers here. This outside wall. This could be it. Let's go check it out. I'm looking for the place of the beer. The pl Sorry, can I can I take video? I'm looking for a place to buy a beer. You're looking for it? To buy a beer. Yes, we can buy it. Here. Can I can I take a video? Yeah, we can take it. Ah, so, thank you. Uh, I've walked very far today. Yeah, we'll come to your place to drink some beer. Uh, and here we are. I'll okay. send black or stout. First give me your name. I am Tara. How is it, man? Yes, I'm, Tim yes, I'm so happy yeah. to see you. You wouldn't know. Okay. I'm just walking, walking. I say, yeah, next place. I say, yeah. where's the beer? I say, next place. Okay. I say, where's the beer? I say, ah, next place. Okay, where are you coming Finally. from? Where are you coming from? Ah, uh, Port St. John's. Port St. John's. But okay. actually, Cape Town. So, you want to buy Castle or something? Castle. Castle. How much? Okay. It's 25. Okay, let's do it. So, here I am finally with these people, and they're all very friendly. And they're all very kind to them, Zungu. And I finally have a beer, but. This beer is closed again now, and I know some people do the teeth thing, but I can't do that. We can open. How do you open this beer? Are you going to do it with the teeth? Yes, I can. Okay. I'll try and put it on the camera. I want to see. Okay. I still want to learn this technique, but come to side this because there's too much light there. Yes. Okay, so this is the. I still have to learn this technique. It's like. That is how you open a beer in Transkai. Thanks. <laughs> I deserve this. Oh my God. Yes, I'm going to love it. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <laughs> so I'm sitting here with these guys and they're drinking traditional beer, that's yeah, beer from us. So I always had this idea that free wild world, at some point I want to do some tours. So I was thinking now walking today. It's like if any of you guys want to come to a village like this, walk the same as I did today. We do exactly the same and we spend the night in a traditional hut like this. Uh, for maybe a night or maybe two maybe three and relax and just absorb the beautiful vibe the peace here i mean i can arrange that and uh they say it can be done so if anybody is interested in doing that let me know and i'll organize it and we do it i think it can be very enriching and inspiring and bring peace to a busy mind cool let me know let me show you how it looks outside here imagine this at night with the stars Okay, that was cool, but there's a taxi here now, so I'm gonna take it to town because I don't know when another one will come. But uh, yeah, so Free World World Tours will be going soon and you can join me on a walk and we will do exactly what I did today and sleep here overnight and it's going to be fun so I'm going to go back to town with the taxi now and this is the end of this vlog this little man here he's showing me where to go the people were so nice so generous they charged my phone I drank some traditional beer of them it's lovely here Come with me and you'll love it. Right.
it's just so peaceful here yeah. and you can imagine spending a night here under the stars sleeping in a hut uh, just forgetting about all the city noise and the rush or busyness of normal lives and just switching off you know because it's a different world here yeah. all this horrible politics and wars and ugly stuff that happens in the world I'm not saying don't ignore it don't be ignorant but uh, every now and then it gets too much man and we just need to realize that life is more about nature and connecting with other people and enjoying this beautiful planet and there are other people that have beautiful hearts and souls out there and it's not all bad you know So once again the vlog is not completely over. I stood there at the crossroads where they told me to stand and wait for the taxi and a guy with a bucky stopped and he said he'll give me a lift back to where I stay but uh, he's going to take a circular route through town first and I must walk down to the main road the concrete road as he called it and it's just down here so yeah So these guys are giving me a lift because I'm so tired and burnt, look at this red face. <laughs> and I'm so happy because thank you guys for giving me a lift back. And this is really the end of this vlog. Yes. See you next time. <laughs> I'm back home, burnt as shit. But I didn't forget, I still owe this vlog. I still owe this day 50 push-ups. And then I completed my mission of doing 2 of the 50 push-ups on this vlog. So, let's do the last bit.